Welcome, yogi, to this yoga session to stretch out tight shoulders. For this session, you don't need any props, perhaps other than a blanket, which can make sitting more comfortable. And also if you get any tenderness in the knees when you kneel, it'll be helpful for that too. So if you'd like to begin in a seated posture, cross-legged if possible, and sit with your right leg crossed in front of your left. Close down your eyes. Rest your palms facing up on your knees. And just for a moment, tune into your breath. Begin to breathe in and out through your nose. Feel an expansion in your belly as you breathe in. And a soft ujjayi breath on your exhale. That slight constriction of your throat to create a soft ocean-like sound that'll help you as you move through your practice today to focus and to keep yourself calm and present. Breathing in. Ujjayi breath out. We're going to begin to move with this breath. As you inhale, circle your arms out wide. Open up across the chest, pull the hands back. And as you exhale, bring your right arm under your left and hug your shoulders, tuck your chin to your chest. As you inhale, open your arms out wide again, puff your chest up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, bring your arms across left under right and hug your shoulders. Inhale and open the arms out wide again. Lifting up the heart, hands pull back. Right arm under left. Give it a hug. Inhale and open them out wide again. And left under right. Bring them straight out to the sides, please, yogis. Place your right hand on the floor and stretch your left up to the ceiling. And side stretch. As you do, bring your right elbow in towards your ribs. As you bring your left hand over the top with the palm facing the floor. Sit heavy in your left sit bone. Reach as far as you can comfortably. Some of you may choose to put your elbow on the floor in this. Just another deep breath. Lovely. Come up and place the back, your left hand, sorry, on the back of your head. We're gonna open that elbow up and back. So you start to turn your chest towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, bring your elbow across towards your right knee, spreading wide across your shoulder blades. As you inhale, open it back again, turning your chest to the sky. Elbow hugs as far back as possible, opening into the shoulder. And as you exhale, bring the elbow across towards your right knee. One more time with that, please. Open it up, the right arm straight, chest to the sky, and exhale, bring it across. Come back up to neutral, stretch your left hand up, sit upright, and bring it across to your right knee for a moment, looking back past your right shoulder. Take a breath in to get a little taller here, and a breath out. One more of those, please. On your exhale, rotate. Really nice, bring your left hand around behind you. Widen across your collarbones, squeeze your shoulder blades together, straighten the arms, lift up the heart. And neutral. Bring your left foot in front of your right, just switch across of your legs for a moment. Send the arms out wide, puff up the chest, draw the hands back. As you exhale, hug your left arm under your right. Rounding into your back, it's like cat cows. Inhale and arch, lifting up. Right arm under left. Maybe the movement, movements are getting bigger as you start to warm up. Inhale and open. Exhale, left under right. Inhale and open. And right under left. Wonderful. Come on out of the hands. Place your left hand on the floor, stretch your right to the ceiling, and bring it over the top with your palm facing the floor. So this will bring your upper arm into external rotation. Your left elbow also hugs in towards your ribs so it doesn't get in your way as you stretch. Sit heavy in your right sit bone as you reach and breathe as if you could breathe all the way down to that right waist. Another full breath here, please, Yogi. That's it. Come up and place the right hand on the back of your head. Open your elbow back, look up towards the ceiling, turn your chest towards the ceiling. And bring your right elbow as far across towards your left knee as possible. It doesn't have to touch, just bring it across. Feel the shoulder blades spread wide on your back. 
And as you inhale, turn the chest open again, bring the elbow back. And as you exhale, bring your elbow across. One more time. Open it out. And bring it across on your exhale, pausing in that wide stretch across the upper back. Coming to neutral, stretch your right hand straight up and bring it across to your left knee. Bring your left hand behind you, rotate around to the left and look past your shoulder. Left arm is straight, your crown reaches high. Use your exhales to rotate. It's releasing some tension here from the neck as well as in the shoulders and upper back in your twist. Fantastic, yeah, we can come on back to facing forwards. Okay, shrug your shoulders up, breathe in. Exhale, relax them down. Good, now come to all fours, please. So this is why now your blanket might come underneath the knees, especially if they feel any pain from having pressure on them, just soften them there. We're going to set up in a tabletop, so that's your shoulders directly over your wrists and your hips directly over your knees and just take a moment here aligning grip your fingers into the mat firm into your belly we're going to begin some hovers and twists so your left hand will stay spread wide right hand circles up and look up towards it so you're spinning into the upper back here and you're going to thread through between your left hand and knee reach your right arm across bend your left elbow look out to the left but hover your arm just an inch above the floor arm and head and as you inhale, stretch it back up towards the ceiling again. Reaching high, rotating, then go in the opposite way, reaching your right arm through between left hand and knee, bending your left elbow. And another time, please inhale, stretch it up. And thread it through. This time we're going to find the ground. So rest your whole arm down. Relax your hand too, rest your head down. Stretch your left hand forwards towards the front of your mat and then creep it across towards the top right corner. Just as far as you can. You'll start to turn your chest up towards the ceiling a little bit perhaps. Just go to where you feel comfortable, not forcing anything. And hug your hips a little bit to the right to intensify if that feels good. We'll hold here for three more breaths. Try and relax your right hand and your forehead and your jaw. And breathe as fully as you can, even though there is some twisting in the torso that may make it feel a little bit different to usual. Well done, Yogi. Walk your left hand back across to the left corner, slide it back underneath your shoulder, and on your inhale, press into your hand, stretch your right hand up to the sky, unravel it, pause at the top there, and release to the floor. Well done. Same thing going on on the other side, please, Yogi. The left hand's going to sweep up, look up towards it. And you'll thread the needle through, left hand between right hand and knee. Hover when you get close to the earth, just an inch away. Right elbow bends, gives you some support. Inhale, send the left hand up to the ceiling. Look up. Exhale, thread it through and hover again. Inhale, circle a hand up, look up. And thread, and this time find the ground with your arm, your hand, and your head. Once you're there, relax your hand, make sure you're comfortable. If it feels okay to you, stretch your right hand forwards, towards the front of your mat, and then across to the left. So it starts to turn your torso, the front of your body, towards the ceiling. And in response, your hips might move to the right, so keep pulling them slightly to the left. To keep a good stretch all the way up your back into your shoulders. Two more breaths here, please. Soften the jaw, soften the forehead. And walk your right hand back across to the right. Slide it back in underneath your right shoulder. As you inhale, send your left hand all the way back up to the ceiling, look up towards it and release it to the floor. 
You can remain here in tabletop if that's your preference, firm into your belly, keep your arms straight. Or if it feels good to you now, tuck your toes and lift your hips up for a down dog for a moment. Press in your chest towards the back of your mat a little bit, remembering to push through strong arms in your down dog. You can have your knees a little bit bent. Look back towards your feet. Make sure they're at least a hip distance apart. And take two more breaths here. Moving to lower down to the knees again and step your right foot forwards. Bringing it up towards the front of your mat. So your left knee can remain on the blanket. Your right knee's forwards. And we're going to settle into a low lunge. And so you can place both hands onto the right knee while you get stable. Hips moving forwards and down. So you're also benefiting, benefiting here from a quad stretch, so a stretch. We're going to take your left hand and circle it forwards and up on your inhale. And as you exhale, back and down. Let's ooh, do that a couple more times, yogis. Inhale, left hand forwards and up and back and down. And again, forwards and up. And back and down. Good. This time, take it forwards and up and keep it up there. Turn your palm forwards and bring your hand to the back of a head or even to the upper back. Now firm into the right foot and lift up through Mula Banda so you've got a little bit of lift up through pelvic floor to stabilize. And if it feels okay to you, take this right hand up and over to your left elbow. Gently lifting the elbow high, lunge down into the hips. And then open the chest up to the ceiling a little bit. So a half, half a cow face arms while in Anjaneyasana, your low lunge. And a couple more breaths in there. You're doing great, Yogi. Gently release your right hand and your left hand and bring them down. Step your way back to a tabletop or once again to your downward facing dog. Press the hands into the earth, elevate the shoulders and relax your neck. And you can lower down to the right knee, step your left foot forwards. And come up, you can walk your hands up onto your knee while you get settled. Move your hips forwards and down into low lunge. Smile across the collarbones. That's it. And once you get settled in, the back toes can be tucked or untucked. That's entirely up to you today. Right hand's going to be by your thigh. Send the hand forwards and up as you breathe in. And back and down as you exhale. Forwards and up to breathe in. Back and down as you exhale. And another please, inhale up. Exhale, back and down. Take your hand up to the ceiling, turn the palm forwards, and then bring your hand to the back of a head or back of neck and shoulders. And firm into the legs, hug your left heel back and right hip forwards a bit, get your balance there, firm into Mula Banda, left hand comes out and up, over the top towards the right elbow, gently assist that elbow up and back for a little bit deeper stretch and then continue to move forwards and down into your right hip as well, as well as perhaps leaning the chest back just a touch if that feels all right. Breathe here please. Good job, Yogi. We're going to bring this out nice and easy. Left hand up, right hand up. Release your hands down. Step your left foot back to your tabletop or to your downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. One more full breath. We'll counter that back bending front stretchy posture by lowering the knees down and just letting your hips settle back to child's pose. 
And you can keep your hands extended forwards for the moment for the shoulder stretch. Rest your forehead down to the ground. And just breathe into your back here, into the low back. And if it's comfortable for you, bring both hands by your feet so the backs of the hands rest on the floor, forehead still rests on the ground, and let your shoulders melt. Breathe into the upper back. Use your breath to spread out wide in those shoulders into any stiffness, tightness you feel there. Come on up to your hands, bring them in front of you, sit up, turn around to face the back of your space, take a seat, and we're going to lie back pretty quick into a, a reclining twist. So if you'd like to bring your left leg out long, right foot on the floor, knee bent. Move your hips slightly to the right, lift them, move them, lower them down, and guide your right knee, you can lift the foot off the floor, guide your right knee over to the left side of your space. Let your left hand rest on the outer knee if that feels good, and stretch your right arm out to the right. You may need to do a little bit of adjustment in this, just allowing the shoulders to find the earth. For me, that means pressing into the back of my head, slightly lifting the left shoulder, and then placing it back down. And look all the way out to your right hand. Close your eyes. And come back up to the middle. <laughs> Move your hips back to the center. Extend your right leg. Keep your left leg bent with the foot on the floor. Move your hips over to the left, just an inch or two. Lift your left foot up and bring your left knee across to the right side of your space. You can rest your right hand onto the knee, the foot onto the floor. And again, make that little bit of shuffling around in the shoulders as you stretch your left arm off to the left. Look out that way if it feels okay on your neck. But close your eyes. Start to relax. Relax your right glute, your right leg, both shoulders, your jaw, your face. And come back up to the middle. Just find the center of your mat. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze and a rock side to side. And then if you're comfortable laying flat, you can extend the legs straight out. If you like a little bit of support under the legs, you could use your blanket once again. Just roll it into a little pillow for behind the knees. Or perhaps if you have some blocks or a bolster, you would put that there instead. Settle into Shavasana, lying comfortably. Shimmy your shoulders under your back. Allow your feet to rest wherever they get to. Take a deep breath in. Closing your eyes. Exhale. Relax. Soften your legs from feet to knees to hips. Release intention from your belly your ribs, your chest. Relax in your arms from your shoulders to elbows and wrists. And letting go of any tension you have in your jaw and around your eyes. Let your practice soak in. Allow yourself to rest.
If you'd like a little longer in Shavasana, you could press pause and just restart when you're ready. If you're ready to continue with your day or your evening, start to wiggle your hands and your feet. Open and close the palms and flex the feet and point them. On your next in-breath, stretch out or up, breathe into your belly. And as you exhale, bring your knees up to your chest. Roll to your side. And come up to a seat. Place your hands into a prayer position in front of your heart and thank yourself for coming to your mat today. And together, let's take a full breath. We'll breathe in and out. Thank you for your practice, Yogi. Namaste.